Hello everybody, my name is Captain Fructose and welcome to Space Engineers. Today I'm showing you basically what I'm calling my, um, my Stargate, kind of, because, well, it moves you really fast. As you can see, it is, com the inside is completely coated in these gravity generators, like, to the point that it makes the entire game lag out, even with a tiny ship going through here, because it accelerates them so fast. And I actually have a speed modifier on here to allow me to go well over um, 100 kilometers a uh, second, I believe, is what it is on here. So I just built a small ship, and I'm going to launch it into the moon here really quick. And let's see here. Um, turn them on. Okay, there we go. And then we need to hop out. All right, so now we got our gravity generators on. I'm gonna launch it into the moon and see what happens. There's no point in putting armor on it because the last one I launched went so fast. I had 10 layers of this base sized heavy armor at the end of this and I launched a ship about this size into it and it went straight through it like there was nothing there. So this is gonna be very, very destructive, but that's what makes it fun. So let's go ahead and get into here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my artificial masses on. Here we go. And then you'll you'll definitely be able to tell when we hit the gravity field because it's going to lag and throw us. Incoming. We're going 500 meters a second. Oh, well, that was a nice thought. Goodbye, cruel world. Oi. Wow, that did hardly anything to the moon. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing left of that ship, which makes me kind of curious. I wonder if we launched a larger ship through there, if it would get annihilated when it hit the planet as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that since we still have some time left in this video. I'm going to go ahead and launch a few more things out of this and see what happens to it. Okay, so we have our next ship that we're going to launch through here. It's a little bit bigger. This one's known as the Pilgrim's Curiosity. I have modified it a little bit. If you have it, I've actually done a review on this. If you haven't seen my review yet, make sure you go check that out. I'll post a uh, link in the description to the video so you can go check out the review of this ship. It looks slightly different. Normally there's solar panels up here, but I had to take those off to put these on so that we can launch the ship. And unfortunately with those as well, we have to turn the gravity generators on the ship off. So there's no gravity on the ship at the moment. But that's okay. This is gonna hopefully be epic as we get this thing launched towards the moon slash planet, whatever you wanna call it. Alrighty, here we go. And we can go ahead and close that. And we need to bring this up here. Come on. There we go. Okay, so... I guess we don't need to turn these off because we're not in range of the gravity generators in here yet. So, let me change our view out here so we can just make sure everything's fitting as we move our way into here. Ooh, we're overloaded on power which is not good. Definitely don't want to be overloaded on power. But that's all right because, oh, and crap. Oh, fed. Oh, what's happening? Oh, something bad, major bad, I think just happened. Oh, fudge sticks. Wow. Well, okay then. I mean, I guess that works. Holy freak. That was insane. Did any of the ship even survive? Gravity generators are still on, but I don't know if any of the ship actually even survived. Got drugged through the whole bottom side of this thing, and then I have no idea what even happened to any of it. That was insane. Holy freak. 
Well, this is going to take some uh, repairing, it looks like. Seeing as I just ripped the entire bottom half off of this thing. It probably needs a redesign anyway, because a tunnel this long, it's really hard not to hit the side. <laughs> or, in this case, the bottom. Wow. Okay, then. Well, I guess we can find out where it went if I do this. Well, then again, maybe not. I guess gravity's not going to work for some reason all of a sudden. Oh, wait. No, I just need to turn that off. Oh, there we go. I have no idea. Like, I haven't even the foggiest idea of where any of that would have went or if even a, if any of that even survived that whole thing. If it did, it didn't survive the impact with the moon. But I guess that's going to be it for this video, seeing as, well, you know, my whole thing just basically got completely destroyed up there. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the absolute destruction of my thing I spent, like, eight years building. Not really. I only spent, like, what, four days building that. So, if you enjoyed watching the destruction of it, leave a thumbs up. And... Uh, I will try and fix it. There will be more videos. I've got another video of a launcher that's down here on the moon's surface that I did. So if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description to that one as well. And don't forget to say, say subscribe or stay tuned because I will be building a giant cannon that will hopefully launch ships off the surface of the um, Earth-type planet, wherever it is. It's probably on the horizon somewhere. But yeah, I'll be building... A cannon that will launch stuff off the surface of that into outer space, especially large ships. At least, that is the goal. So, as always guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I'm just going to let myself float through outer space for the rest of eternity. Because I don't even care anymore. Because that's broken. Oh hey, you stayed this long after the video? Nice. Well, I was just about to launch these uh, little gravity spheres through here, even though it's completely and utterly destroyed. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and make cloak. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's like a little machine gun. The faster I can build these things, the faster they go. That's pretty sweet. Okay, bye.